Hey, what's up guys? This is one from ER Max Services. And now we have another repair. We have here a A1466. This is a A1466 MacBook Pro 2017. The problem with this device is it's not powering on. Why is not powering on? We don't know yet. So I'm gonna connect the battery here. Let me, let me check. Come on. Okay, there you go. Connect the battery. Push power. Fan is not moving at all. And now if I connect the charger, that I don't have a charger. Let me grab a charger. I need a charger. I'll charge it right here. Now I need a charger with the tape. One sec. Oh, there you go. Keep over here. I have another charger here. Now I have a charger. Connect it. There you go. Now we have a charger. So there's no power on. I'm gonna connect it. Okay. Now I have the charger. Green light, red light. Let me see. You can see there. Yeah, you can see there. I don't know this, but there's still no power. Fan is not moving, and it's trying to move. No, I move with my hand. Okay, no move. So, no, no move. Why? I don't know. Let's check. So what's the first thing we do? That's correct. Power analysis. So we go to our power analysis. There you go. And we type. Man, I got tired. Power analysis. And the first one we're going to try to get. I think this is not power analysis. This is not this model. Oh, no, 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 no. This one is. There you go. And now we're in the right place. There you go. Power lights. The first one is PP Boss G3 Hot. PP Boss G3 Hot. Coming from U7100 after PP bus coming from U7100 after PPDC in G3 Hot or PPDC in 18B5. It uh, is going through the process. It in U7100 is creating uh, the PP bus G3 Hot out. Beside PP bus G3 Hot, we need um, a system wire PP3B42 G3 Hot. So we will get the light. Okay. So we're gonna start with PP Boss G3 Hot. Let's see how much we have. I'm gonna test an let me show you guys here. There you go. Um we are gonna see this guy. There you go. So we're gonna test PP Boss G3 Hot right here. This is PP Boss G3 Hot on F7140 which one is S7140 we have S7140 okay okay you see this that weird color it means that it's shot it is sure let's check so we're gonna check i have here nothing and i have here 8.58 it means 8.6 it means the f7140 is it broken that's why the weird color the the, the this weird liquid here it means that already explode 
it, it so we need to check why let me put on a continuity to check if it shot it to ground there you go that's a problem that's a very common problem so i'm removing i'm removing the power right now of the computer and now i'm going to explain what we're going to do next the first thing we're going to take the logic board out T5, what is T5? T5. This is T5. Okay. Let me grab a back. I don't need this charger. So, um, the problem is uh, people G3 how they shot it to ground. What normally happens on these logic boards is a capacitor. Actually, I'll, I'll explain you a little bit the same moment and removing the screws. Okay, let me remove this. Mm -hmm. So what's happening here is F7140. This side or F7140 get, it, it's always got shorted, got to ground for some reason. Most of the time it's a capacitor, I'm gonna explain. And then when that happened, the fuse, it breaks. And when it breaks, there's only power on this side, but there's no power on this side. So computer won't turn on at all. So CPU is not getting uh, power. First, the I sense power. So what normally happened with this logic board? Oh, you can see PP Boss G3 hot, it connects to our 5450 and 5450 has these lines that goes to these capacitors. Let me be honest, that's the 99% of the time when you have PP bulge to go to ground is because one of these capacitor is damaged and you can easily see it with your eyes. So what we're going to do right now, this is going to be, a, a, I think a very simple repair very simple process. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to take the board out. We're going to remove our 5450 to be sure that this is the side that is to ground. And after that, we're going to check with the microscope to see if any of these capacitors almost on the time is on the, on, on the front, almost all the time is over here, but it could be on this side too. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. It should take no more than 10, 15 minutes. So right now what we're gonna do is let's let's take the screws out and then we're gonna fix the logic board. Very simple repair. But you need to understand, so that's why the, the first process is check PP Boss G3 hot and then from there you you figure. Always start with the power analysis. Now, what, what are those capacitors that explode? Not sure, but it's a very common, very common process, very common issue on this, on MacBook Airs from 2012, 2013 to 2017. And there, this is, this is one of the most Sold units from Apple, so you need to understand how this computer works, and you need to know how to fix it if you want to repair shop, be successful, and then you can make money doing what you like. Okay, the logic board is out. Logic board is out. First thing to do, let's remove, remove the R5450. No, let's do it here. R5450, let me show you, it is 
Let me check is this Y four legs resistor that is here. There you go, that guy. So let's put some flux and let's remove it. Okay. Come on, hurry up. And then once we found what the problem we fix it, we have to re replace the, the fuse. And then our computer is going to be alive and working. There you go. Oh, I think I move this guy. Let me put it back. Done. Okay, that's bad. So let's check here. What's to ground? I put my tester in. Oh, it is already. Continuity. So remember. Or sh we found our shirt here. It's not shorted anymore. You see? It's not shorted anymore. Now let's go here. It's the same line. There you go. Which line is this one? Let me show you. There you go. So we found the short in this one. And we'll remove R5450, and this is the one he showed. It. Remember the capacitors. So it's not a surprise. We already know that we have a, we have an idea already what was the issue. So what we're gonna do? Let's check all our capacitors one by one to see if we found any that looks weird. Okay, all these ones they look good. Other side. They they look good actually. Let's see. Let's over here. Let's put it like this. Let me. Okay. On this side, ah, this is it looks a little bit more clear. Okay, to my eyes, than in the microscope. So this guy here, okay, we can see it right here. You see all this guy look very shiny white and this guy have like a weird color over here. This is our guy. Again, it looks very clear in the microscope. Not that much in the in the video that you guys are seeing, but through my eyes it's very clear. So what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so we test the pad. Okay, nothing happened. If we tell the pad, it's gonna be shorted. Let's remove the guy, this guy, and then let's check if the pad is still to ground. If we're lucky and we are doing our job in the right way, it should be done. 
should be the right one. Once you do this process several times, you start to find the little marks in the capacitors and it, it, it becomes very easy to see which one is the bad one. Also not looking that bad actually. Okay, let's test the pad. Done. Now let's test the cap. There you go. No making sound. Making sound. That's it. We knew from the beginning one will test the fuse. We knew that it will be a simple process. Now I need a donor board. I'm going to need a donor board so we can replace the fuse. So I have over here 20. 12 MacBook Pro 15 inches. Let me see. This one still have the fuse. Yes, it does. So we're gonna use one of these fuse. This model use two fuse, and we're gonna use one of those fuse for this computer right there. Same fuse. It works. It's gonna work perfectly. We only need one. Okay, uh, let's put it, you see, same fuse. Let's put it here. Now let me remove the airport car. No, estoy seguro, ahorita lo llamo. Okay, the one is up. Let me put the other one. Okay. There you go. Now we have to put the resistor back because that resistor was good. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now, I know I have to put the capacitor, I have to solder it, but even before that, I wanna be sure, I wanna check that the mag is gonna turn on.
There you go. And it's moving. That was a problem. It's gonna try. Oh. Let's see. This is the second time. A third time it should be stable. There you go. You guys hear it. Fan is on. Done. Computer's done. So now, let me put it inside. Let me put the capacitor. And then we will test it one more time. And that's it. We should be good to go. Which capacitor I'm gonna can I use one of these ones? No, these are too big. A B seven NEO. No, there's none of those here. Okay, I think I have a twenty nineteen board here with me. I think these are different. I'm gonna use one of these ones. Different logic board. But well, it's the same capacitors. And just newer. Almost done. Let's clean it. Okay, let's test it one more time to be sure that everything is good. Oh, I have to put this.
Almost done. Now, remember at the beginning we tested with the battery to see if it turns on. Let's see. Pushing power right now. There you go. Now let's do the pram. I'm gonna do it three times at the third time, it's gonna turn on. Then I'm doing a pram. Boom. Run it set. David, come on, test that repeat. Our menu is there. And Max boot is booting up. Let me see how you can. Max boot is booting up. But yeah, that's it, guys. I'm going to explain what was the issue with this computer. So, if you guys have a similar, you guys can follow the issue. So, we go to the schematics, and we don't want to use the microscope right now. The computer came up, right? So we know what the first thing we have to do is we go to power analysis. We go to power analysis. It was at 00165. We go to power analysis, PP Boss G3 hot, and we got we got PP Boss G3 hot. Now I always check PP Boss G3 hot at F7140. When I test it, I saw that there's no power here, there was no power here, but there was power here. So I, f I knew from that moment that F7140 it was broken. It was broken. And the path two of S7140 was shorted to ground. So I immediately went to R5450. I removed R5450 and I saw that this pad was the pad, was the name of the pad. PP Boss S5 IHS Computer Night Sense was shorted to ground, to ground. So I start to see one by one. Then I saw the capacitor 7370 have a weird color, funny color over here. Reason why I decided to replace it. And once I replace it, the computer was back to life. Very simple process, guys. Every time you have PP Boss shot it on this model from 2012 to 2017 MacBook Air, attack first, my recommendation, attack first R5450, remove it, and then from the test, which one is it? It will make your life easier, okay? Well, that's it, guys. That's everything for today. I'll post a couple more videos tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.